Or is it too late? How are loaners different? Well, how loaners are different is that most loaners have an attachment style that revolves around kind of avoidance, right? Like pulling away and like, which is why a lot of avoidant attachment style people can be like really interesting, right? And they're, they're good because they need that human interaction because it's one of their needs. And then after a while, they kind of pull over into this cocoon, right? So people with this kind of attachment style, what happens is that most of them come from a family where they didn't experience a whole lot of affection and love when they were growing up. So they had parents that usually didn't say that they loved them. They usually didn't hug. They usually didn't show a lot of affection or connection, or maybe their parents were completely off in another world. And for a lot of those people, or maybe that's what they experienced. And for a lot of those people, they end up becoming loners in their lives in the future. And so it's one of those things where it's like, you, you have to give them a lot of space and you have to you, you have to realize that they're you know they're, you're going to be in a situation where they're going to be taking a lot of space whenever they need help or whenever they there's something that goes wrong and that their their attachment style what it does is that they end up when when things are going wrong or whatever they pull out and pretend like they don't have any need or desire for human connection and it can be really really painful for people that get into relationships like that and as long as you're okay with doing it then you know and, and somebody having that kind of an attachment style then that's you know that's fine but it's something that you need to think about